Hey everybody, it's uh, Mark, Dr. Deadwax. Uh, I'm here to do a thread response to uh, uh, my favorite uh, heavy metal porn star VC member, Triple X Heavy Metal. Um, I love your work, man. Stamina is impressive. Uh, so, uh, IPA, 2X IPA from Southern Tier. I'm in a Southern Tier like ghetto lately. Uh, I can't get out of the Southern Tier. I'm drinking everything Southern Tier, and it, I don't know. It's not that bad a ghetto to be in. It's a really good beer. Uh, so Kevy had a contest that I think I understand, but I'm not quite sure. But I'm making a video anyway. Uh, he wanted us to talk about our kind of local music scene and bands we've seen locally. Um, cheers, Kevin. Uh, now... I've seen all of these bands, and they're all local to where I have lived around here. But none of them are from, well, one of them is from my hometown. But um, let's, I think I have three or four. I do not remember anymore. I have Three. The first one is Rock Plaza Central. This is a band uh, people may or may not have heard of, but uh, this is the album that kind of got them notice on, uh, I think Pitchfork or somebody raved the shit out of this, Are We Not Horses? And this is, uh, it, the band is essentially Chris Eaton. Uh, and uh, he signed uh, this to me. This is on Paper Bag Records out of Toronto. The Chris is from down east, and the first time I saw him was here in town. Um, he was doing uh, uh, just a solo show. Uh, there was like three people in the audience. He played for like an hour, 45 minutes, two hours, and then uh, him and I sat around, we drank beer and shot the shit for a couple hours. Might have been. But uh, he's uh, kind of like a f alt folky. He's a he's a really interesting lyricist. Um, he's got a. I just love his voice. Um, and this was the record that followed up. Are we not horses? And this is at the moment of our most needing. And. Uh, Chris is also an author. That's what he does now. He has published three or four novels. He just uh, put out a novel called Chris Eaton. Um, and in it, he kind of tells the story of uh, multiple Chris Eatons. I haven't read it, um, so I, I, I can't really talk about it. But If you ever get a chance, check out his music. It's really interesting. It's really quirky. I have his first CD as well, but I don't show CDs. Um, and there's one CD that I don't have that um, he is uh, doing um, uh, one of those you commit to purchase a record. I don't know what the hell they're called. Those funding things. He's going to do one of those to get that pressed on vinyl. So, um, And that's called uh, Quantum Butter Ball. Can't quite remember. Anyway, sorry, Chris, if I got that wrong. Uh, next is uh, somebody who I've seen many times, and she's uh, been very good to me personally, and that is uh, Jane Sibri. This is her album, Bound by the Beauty. Um, Bound by the Beauty, hockey, and everything. It reminds me of my dog, The Valley of the Life is the Red Wagon. Those would be the songs that uh, would be most well-known. Are We Dancing Now? Map 3 is on here, which is part of the map of the world. Um, series. Uh, Jane um, saw her first uh, on her second record. Snuck into a bar to see her when I was like 16. And that was uh, amazing. I've seen her a whole bunch of times since. Uh, lately she does mostly solo work. She does salons where she travels around North America and she plays in people's homes. And it's like 50 to 100 bucks to go see her. And there's usually like 
20 to 50 people at the events and they're very intimate. Um, she plays a club in Toronto called Hughes Room a lot. Um, she's always entertaining. Uh, she's a very interesting person. So she's got lots of great life stories and she's she's very opinionated, which is great. And she, uh, you know, she, she shares a lot. She's really interesting in that uh, a few years ago, she changed her name from Jane Sibbery to Issa. She sold her house and she sold everything that she owned and uh, she had no residence and she just started to travel the world. And then uh, she did that, released a record under the name Issa, and then um, decided to go back to the name Jane Sibbery a couple of years later. But she still is kind of doing that roving um, kind of free spirit. I mean, that, that's pretty ballsy to kind of to give up a home base and, and always kind of be relying on good luck to come your way and the kindness of strangers and stuff like that. Uh, so that's that. And then the next... Uh, what I'm going to show is another local band, um, and that's Rush. And some people think they're from Toronto, but um, Neil Peart is from Hagersville, uh, which is just, its I think it might actually be a part of my city now. Um, if not, it's like right on the edge of my city, because my city is like 30 miles across now, but uh, it includes like millions of acres of farms. It was like a massive, terrible amalgamation. Um, so anyway, uh, Rush, Neil Peart is from Hagersville, and I've seen Rush many times as well, and they're a really good band to see live. And that's another Rush album. Um, this is a Master Disc uh, BK, which is a uh, Bill Kipper, and I really like this Rush album. This is Hold Your Fire. This is a sealed copy. And... Here's an abomination, uh, Moving Pictures Live, 2011. Holy shit, is this terrible. This record is terrible. Um, the performances are excellent, of course, because um, the band is just as tight as always and spot on. But if you compare this to this, your head would explode with the amount of, compre amount of compression in this. It, there's like... It's all just blah, right in you. Uh, and the last one from Rush is this. And now that Moving Pictures Live is terrible. This is fucking atrocious. This is one of the worst sounding records I've ever heard in my life. Which is an absolute travesty because the music is really good. And the concept is really good. But this is the most compressed. Oh, this is just terrible. Anybody who thinks this record sounds good needs a new stereo. Either that or they'll just listen to anything. So anyway, so I hope that fits within the rules, Kevy. Uh, bands I've seen live locally that are somehow based where I'm from. There's other bands I wanted to show that um, I could have shown. Bare Naked Ladies are from locally. Robbie Robertson uh, went to my high school. Um, Gowan, he, him, his brother went to my high school. Gowan. He lived up the street from me when I was growing up. So I could have shown Sticks. Uh, Hamilton's got a whole bunch of great bands I could have shown, um, but I just couldn't find the record. So, anyway, uh, Kevin, you're awesome. Whatever subscriber milestone you're at, you deserve it. More so, you deserve to be four or five times. Keep up the film work. Have a great day. Keep the record spinning.